We'll rock the Jordans today. Gonna time it just right so I just touch the ground. That was perfect. There are multiple types of grips out there on the market. There's the overlap, there's the interlock, and there's the 10 finger and a multitude of other variations in between all of that and you name it. So it doesn't really matter what you have, but today's video is really focused on those of you who are interlock. I'm personally an overlap, but today I will be hitting interlock. I started golfing with interlock and like a numbskull, I changed to an overlap and I wish I was interlock. Today I will be, but I just can't do it anymore but it's probably, in my opinion, the best one out there. But there are three things with that grip you should never, ever do. So we'll get you fixed up real quick. All right, don't expect that great a shot to out of me. It's very, very uncomfortable to switch from one thing to another with your grip. But if you're an interlock person, Here's the first huge mistake, don't do this, and that is shove your fingers too far, okay? When you get your finger too deep here, then you're gonna start gripping in the palm of your hand. And if you grip in the palm of your hand, you're gonna be like choking the club with your right hand, and you're gonna have no control up top here with your thumb. It's just gonna be way out of position. And if you do manage to get your thumb on top, it's gonna to be really long and lanky, and it's just gonna be real difficult to manage up top here. So that's the first big mistake, is shoving it, your fingers in way too deep. I can't, I can't even hit the ball like that. So that's the first never do is to jam those fingers deep in to each other, all right? Don't do that. Now, the second thing you should never ever do with the interlock is this, is you start covering that second knuckle on your left hand. That's a huge no-no, because what happens is then your hand gets out of position here, your right hand or your top hand. When you bring that down here, you're losing all control in the lower portion of your hand. And you'd be surprised how many people, they want to have a soft grip and they let that drift down to that second knuckle. You might think it's kind of nitpicky to just even think like that, but when you do that, and a lot of people do it, and you don't even realize you're drifting, all your other fingers come off the club on your right hand, the, these two. And we really want those fingers on the grip because it just gives you more stability, more control over the club. But if you let that drift, then it lifts up the next two fingers and you have no control once again. And 146, the thing is you just can't get any control or swing speed if you're interlocked and that's drifting over that second knuckle. So never do that either. Hey, that one's pretty good. Woo! That's been my best one so far. Also, comment down below and let me know what part of your game you struggle with the most. I wanna know the best places where we can help. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you're liking this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell notification so when videos come out, you don't miss anything. Now back to the grip issue. All right, the last thing you should never do is this. And it's really easy to do if you do the first two things correctly and that's this. So you, you put it in, not all the way, you don't jam it in, right? And you're not letting that pinky drift over that second knuckle. It's right in between the first knuckle and second knuckle. What happens is people let that bottom hand slide down underneath the top hand. 
so your hands are kind of like this. They're sitting basically on top of each other. Now, Jordan Spieth kind of does this, and if your name is Jordan Spieth, then you could do that too. But if it's not, then I wouldn't do that. What I would do is be very conscious about how far away your thumbs are from one another. You really want this thumb on your left hand to be right in this groove between your front pad and your back pad on your right hand and come about to the center of your palm right there. And now you know you're in a good spot. If it's too close and it's drifting up underneath your right thumb, that's no good. You don't want that. And then when it comes over, you look like that. And that's going to be your perfect interlocking grip setup. Well, that was my best one. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.